The year began with coronavirus case numbers as high as they'd ever been. And rioters storming the US Capitol, trying to undermine the peaceful transition of power. Hello, sir. Taking office on the 20th of January, the incoming US president was clear-eyed about the challenges the country was facing. To contain a pandemic, to administer a vaccine, it's going to be the most consequential logistical thing that's ever been done in the United States. It's going to take a lot, an awful lot. We're going to rescue an economy. Driven by vaccines and massive stimulus, the U.S. economy did bounce back into growth in the first quarter at just under 6.5%. The next stage of the recovery, though, is far more complicated. Vaccination rates are falling, more than 400,000 people filed for unemployment benefits last week, and inflation is pushing up prices for everyday goods like groceries and gas. Chair Powell, please rise and raise your right hand. Testifying on Capitol Hill this week, the chairman of the Federal Reserve explains some of the temporary causes of inflation. This reflects, in part, the very low readings from early in the pandemic falling out of the calculation, the pass-through of price increases in oil prices to consumer energy prices, the rebound in spending as the economy continues to reopen, and the exacerbating factor of supply bottlenecks. But Fed officials also publicly conceded this week that temporary could mean current high inflation levels lasting for the rest of this year. Giles Gibson for CGTN, Washington.